Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to Quest Bites. I'm your host, Corinne Cahill. Today, we are going to be learning about electricity, and we have a fun experiment to demonstrate how it works involving a balloon and some ooze, which you're not going to want to miss. So I'm glad you're here this morning. But first, we want to play Spot the Quapple. I'll put 30 seconds on the clock for you to try and find it. There are actually five quapples in this photo. So if you're able to find them all, let me know in the comments. I want to know who's searching for them this morning. If you find one, let me know. About 15 seconds left. We'll let others join in here to see if they can find them. About 10 seconds. Did you find them? Did you find any? Five, four, three, two, one. Here is the answer. Five quapples hidden across this picture of electric wires. Were you able to find any? Did you find one, two, three, four, five? That's all right. If you did not, we'll play again tomorrow. Just make sure you're here right at 930 so you have time to get in on the fun and spot all the quapples. So today we are making electric cornstarch to demonstrate electricity. So what are you going to need? You need a cup of cornstarch. Uh, or a fourth cup of cornstarch, a fourth cup of vegetable oil, a balloon, and a spoon. I guess you could use a cup, but you want equal parts cornstarch and vegetable oil when you're making them. Good job, Cadence, for finding the clap holes. Awesome job. So, in case you missed it, we learned about non-Newtonian fluids when we made our outrageous ooze a few weeks ago. In the 1700s, Isaac Newton said that an ideal fluid, liquid, that has the properties that he identifies are called Newtonian fluids. Since your ooze, or the ooze that we made for today, doesn't act like that, it's a non-Newtonian fluid. So how are you going to make this? First, you're going to mix your cornstarch and vegetable oil together. You notice that it has the properties of ooze that we made a few weeks ago. And when we get to the experiment, you're just going to take your spoon and let the ooze fall back into the bowl. So you're going to scoop some up and just let it drip. It's when you add that balloon that you've rubbed on your hair or clothes that something really cool is going to happen. And you may have guessed that we are going to be talking about static electricity since we have a balloon in this experiment. When you rub the balloon on a coarse surface like your hair, you give the balloon additional electrons, electricity. These new electrons generate a negative static charge. Meanwhile, the ooze, having identity issues about being a solid or a liquid, has a neutral charge. When an object has a negative charge like the balloon, it will repel the electrons of other objects and attract that object's protons. When that neutrally charged object is light enough, like the dripping cornstarch in this case, that negatively charged object will attract towards the balloon, which is what you're going to see in this next video. You'll see that ooze kind of swing towards the balloon because it wants to be with those negative electrons. So first things first, we have to start some static electricity. I used my hair because it seemed like more fun. You can also use your clothes if you don't want your hair to stick up, but you want that static charge. Now you'll notice that your balloon can't attract all of the cornstarch from the bowl because there are too many forces, but dripping the cornstarch means fewer molecules will be able to stick together, which makes that dripping cornstarch swing towards the balloon more freely and become stiff. Essentially, you're freezing this liquid in the air with your balloon because of the electricity. And thankfully, it's a non-Newtonian fluid that is gets all weird when things happen to it, <laughs> right? In some cases, that liquid even jumped off the spoon and stuck to the balloon if it got too close. Of course, if you pull your balloon away, you'll notice that it'll just drip down back into the bowl like a normal liquid would. But isn't it cool to watch that cornstarch swing towards the balloon and freeze in midair? We're freezing liquid, people, with electricity. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I hope you're able to try it today. We'll put the instructions in the comments for you to try it. If you do, send us your videos of your cornstarch swinging. Of course, you can always add some food coloring to make your liquid a different color. I didn't in this case, but I hope you join us tomorrow because we are going to be bending pencils. Lots of magic this week. Freezing liquid in midair and bending pencils. And we're going to be learning about light refraction. So don't worry. No pencils will be harmed in the making of tomorrow's quest bite, but it will be a lot of fun. So I hope to see you here at tomorrow morning at 930. As for today, I hope you're able to make your 
electric cornstarch and you're able to freeze some cornstarch in midair with your balloons. Until next time, continue onward with your quest for knowledge and thanks for watching.